Hey guys. Okay, so I've got a different kind of a video for you today. This one is going to be all about sugar scrubs. And I've been wanting to do this one for a while. Um, these are kind of my latest obsession. Um, I've got a little bit of a collection of them going on right now. And this video was inspired by a video of Miss Corinne's I saw a while back. She did a kind of compare and contrast on a couple different sugar scrubs. And it was really helpful for me to actually see that there are um, differences in all these sugar scrubs. And I thought, okay, well maybe I wanna start ordering those. Those look pretty cool. So um, this video was definitely inspired by the videos I saw of hers. So um, anyway, let's go ahead and start. Um, let's, let me introduce the ones that I'm going to do today. And I have used all these and I currently love a couple of them. Um, okay, so this one just comes from Ulta. This is the Soak and Glory Breakfast Scrub. This is the Cashmere Collections Body Polish. This one comes from Body Bond Bond. This is two scrubs, one cup sugar scrub. This one is obviously from Witch Baby. This one is from Candy Panda. It came from my last haul. And this one is the Whipped Sugar Scrub from Twisted Allure. So what I'm going to go ahead and do for you guys is um, just scoop these out and do some individual videos and you will probably see more of me than you want to see. But I'm doing this for you guys because I think that this will be real informative. And if you haven't tried some of these and you've been wanting to try them, then maybe you'll get some good, good insight on what the product is. A little more than just seeing it on the website. Um, just, you know, a picture in the container and a description. So, um, yeah, let me scoop these out and I'll be right back. Okay, so I decided what I'd do is just go ahead and show you the consistency up close and then scoop it out for you um, so you can see what it looks like when I'm putting it in the little container. So this to me kind of looks like, looks like a batter. Um, it's not very thick at all. And I would say that the consistency of this one is just gritty at best. See if I can not drip this everywhere. But what's cool to me about this one is that it's got bigger pieces of sea salt in it. So it's sugar scrub, but it also has the sea salt. So you kind of get two levels of the exfoliation with this one. And this one oh, smells, smells really good. Um, these all smell really good, but this one smells like um, maple syrup. It says, um, what does it say? It says, bananas, almond, and honey. And this one is really big, it's 10 ounces. So, and this one, it's always on sale, not always. A lot of times this one's on sale at Ulta and I'll link that down below. There's usually some kind of deal where you buy one, get one free or buy one, get one half off. And I think right now there's a deal where you get, um, if you buy one, you get like a free gift of some sort of this, um, this brand, this line. So anyway, um, there's a little sample of this one, and that's its consistency. And don't judge me, you guys. This is the spoon I use, or these are the kind of spoons I use. These are the little frozen yogurt spoons you get um, at the frozen yogurt shop. And these are really sturdy plastic spoons, and they're free, and I have tons of them, and I just recycle them and use them all over my house for different things. So it's not the coolest looking spoon, but... Um, yeah, I try to recycle those. So let's just move on to the next scrub. Okay, so the next one up is the Cashmere Collections Silken Body Polish. And this one, if you're not familiar, is the one, um, this is Kim Zolciak um, Beerman, her line, and she's got the Cashmere Toning Oil as well. That's, that's like the big one in that line. She's got a few other products out as well. Um, this one I've had for a long time. This is the second one that I got. Um, I don't know if you're familiar with her, love her, hate her. She's got damn good products. Um, so this is what this one looks like. They're relatively new. I would say in the past year she launched this line. That's what this one looks like. And what's cool, of, and one thing that's cool about this one is it's kind of, it's got like, extra oil, I would say, the moisturizer in it. Um, so what I have done with this one and this over here, I have this one here over here because show you guys, it's an empty. Um, 
I have just added my own, when it gets like that and there's a little extra patch of moisture, I just add a couple spoonfuls of sugar and it just, just makes more scrub. So um, you can actually get a, more, a little more mileage out of this than actually even comes with the product. But um, yes, yeah, so this was like one of my, like my OG scrubs. So, um, so the scent of this one is, I used to think, and a lot of people say it's like a coconut lime. But since I've been doing all these other bath products, it does not smell like that to me anymore. And this is an amazing scent. To me, it's more of a fresh, powdery, maybe a little coconut, not that much lime, but it is a beautiful, beautiful, fresh, spa-like scent. And it's just really hard to describe, but it's just beautiful and light and just powdery. It's tropical. It's a little tropical for sure, but this is really, really sugary and it's a great exfoliant. It's very, very moisturizing and I just absolutely love this one. And I haven't done anything, I haven't talked about this yet because I really hasn't fit in with anything that I've been um, demoing on my channel, but um, I just definitely had to add this scrub in because I just loved it so much. But um, enough about that, on to the next scrub. Okay, so this one is from Body Bon Bon and if y'all haven't seen all my Body Bon Bon videos, this one is the one from Australia, and um, Irene was kind enough to throw this in my box. I did not order this with my order, but I'm so, so glad that she did because this, this is so awesome. Um, this is what it looks like, and I've actually done, um, I featured this in one of my bath bomb demos. This is what this looks like. It's kind of two-tone. It's very, very thick. I don't even know if I want to put that much in there. I will for you guys. Um, it's, it's got very big granules, and it's a great, great exfoliant. It's not got a whole ton of moisture in it, and it smells like an oatmeal cookie. It's so, so good. Um, so I'm looking through the camera. That's why I'm just pushing everything around here. Um, yeah, so it says oatmeal, milk, honey, clementine, cupcake. So it's just maybe a little of that clementine, I guess, maybe a little bit of orange but it just smells so good. To me, it does smell like just like an oatmeal cookie. But this is one of the best exfoliators that I think of, that I have up here, but I'm gonna be sad when this is gone and when she gets some new products out and I place another order, this is going to be something that I get another one of. And also, interesting little fact, she is going to be renaming her company. So um, be on the lookout for that and when she gets some new products in, she is probably gonna be changing her name around that same time and I'm sure that I will be getting some of her stuff in too. So anyway, just interesting little fact about Body Bon Bon. Okay, on to the next scrub. Okay, so this is the Witch Baby Heartbreak Hotel Scrub and this is the one that um, scented in bubblegum. And I have used a lot of that. And as a matter of fact, I tell you what, I'm on my way to ordering another one of these and look at that shimmer. Oh my God, now, now I smell this one from here. Like just right when I opened it, I just got just a big whiff of that bubble gum and I just, I have to smell it. Okay, oh, okay, now this one, the first time I used it, when I did this bath bomb, and y'all are so sick of hearing this, when I did this bath bomb, I used this scrub and I talked about it in the demo that I lost when my phone crashed. Um, so I will talk about it again today, but this one, when I first used it, I thought I had died. I loved it so much. So this one is seemingly very dry, but it is extremely moisturizing. And I got the body butter in this too. And I have to say that I prefer the scrub because what I said in that video, the end of that video, when I got out of the bath and, um, I used this scrub was that this was so moisturizing because of whatever oils are in it I did not feel like I needed to use the body butter when I got out of the bathtub so that's um, what I think about this scrub um, so yeah let's just move on and get to the next one okay this one is from Candy Panda and this is relatively new so pretty 
and I got a bunch of these. If you saw my haul, you saw that I got a bunch, bunch, bunch of these in a lot of different scents. I don't know if you could hear that scoop, but it sounds pretty cool. Okay, so this feels like, you know what? This feels like moon sand. <laughs> That's what this feels like when you scoop it out. Um, so pretty. Um, this is one of the only scents I liked. And it's so weird. Um, and, you know, maybe, you know I thought it was me. And then, like, I'm on the D-Stash pages for all this stuff. It's so pretty. It looks kind of like ice cream. Um, I wasn't crazy about some of these scents. And then I was looking on the D-Stash pages and then somebody wrote something like, could you recommend some other companies because I find the Candy Panda, their scrubs have kind of a strong, kind of a plasticky scent to it. And my, my nose is very sensitive. And I thought it was crazy, but I kind of got that too. So there were only a couple of these scrubs that I thought smelled really good and didn't have some kind of little undertone that smelled a little synthetic or plasticky. Now, that just might be me. People are crazy about these scrubs, and I do like the scrub, but for some reason, some of those scents just, they just weren't for me because I there was some other undertone besides the scent that was in here in the scrub. So anyway, um, I'll talk more about the scrub in the little demo, but anyway, that was my initial thought on this scrub. Okay, so this one is the Unbirthday Massacre from Twisted Allure, and this one is the strawberry birthday cake, wedding cake, strawberry cake um, scent, and this is my holy grail right now. I'm absolutely obsessed with this scent. I first ordered the body butter and I ordered the immortal body butter too, which is the dark cherry, black cherry. And when I got this, I thought I'd like it, but when I got the body butter, I just, I died. Oh my God. And so then I turned right around and ordered the scrub. It, it's like sugar scrub whipped cream. It's that light and airy. Oh my gosh, it smells so freaking good. Um, I go between strawberry shortcake, strawberry milkshake, and strawberry ice cream. But it's, it's a real strawberry scent, and it's really bright and a little bit tart. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful, beautiful scent. And I just ordered a second one. <laughs> she just had a 20% off coupon code. So, I just ordered my second one of these because I do not want to run out of this one. Now, that being said about just ordering the body butters and things like that, um, I've got some lotions and some body butters building up too, so I want to go ahead and um, maybe in a little while and do maybe a video like this with those two, but that's not going to be for today. But anyway, that's my last one, so let's get to the demos. Okay, so here's just a little shot of all the samples and all the tubs and all of their glory. And also, I wanted you guys to be able to see the differences in the sizes, too. All right, let's get to it. Okay, here goes nothing, you guys. I hope you can see me. I hope I'm in frame. I hope you can hear me. Um, I hope this works out. Okay, so, um, and have a little bowl of water down here so, like, I can wet my legs so I don't have to keep turning the water on so you can make sure and hear me because you probably couldn't hear me that well. Okay, so this one is the Soap and Glory, and this is the one that I said feels kind of gritty, but, like, just kind of small, small and gritty with the sugar, but it does have the big, um, the big grains of sea salt in it, so I really do like that, so... Let's just say that your leg is wet and you're in the shower or you're in the bathtub and then you get some of this. So, and I think, I think that might be oatmeal in there and it said bananas too. So this looks like it's got a lot of natural or seemingly natural ingredients in it. And so this to me is just, 
it's a really good exfoliator. I really do like this one. And if you don't want to order anything or wait for anything to come in the mail, then um, this is a really good one. And like I said, they're usually deals at Ulta. And they've got a lot of other products, a lot of other products. It's a huge line. Um, this is the only one that I like the scent of, but you know me. I mean, I'm really picky about scents, and this is the only one that I really thought smelled like food. <laughs> Sweet food. I think there's one that's, there may be one that smells like citrus, but there are a lot of other scrubs, too, and they have a lot of other products. So, um, this feels, this feels pretty moisturizing, too, but I really like this one as, um, as just like a basic scrub. Okay. Next. So next we have the Cashmere, Cashmere Collections, and this is from Kim Beerman's line. And this one is very, very moisturizing. It's really exfoliating. It's just the really small grains of sugar, just like your basic, it feels like your basic table sugar. And it's, you have to be real careful and you kind of have to cup your hand when you put it on because it will kind of like fall off of you. <laughs> But it is a very good exfoliator. I love, love this one. And this is my second one. And she always has really good deals, too. She's always got a BOGO going on. Um, so I will link her site below as well. And this is just one of my very favorite scents. I'm not using this one currently because I have used it for so long. But like I said, when you get this in the mail... You can actually make it last a lot longer just by adding a little more sugar to it. But this one this feels really good. I haven't used this one in a while. Um, but yeah, this one, it's got a lot of nice oils in it. It smells like, it's just exactly like the toning oil. And I'm absolutely in love with the toning oil. I'm almost done with my second bottle. Um, so, I love this one. It, but it's kind, of, it's kind of dry depending on how much sugar you want to add to it or not, but it doesn't come really dry. It comes more moist, but I like to make mine last a little bit longer, and I like more of a dry exfoliator a lot of the times. So, moving on. So this is the Body Bon Bon, and this is the Oh My Darling, and I, you know I just got that Clementine, Oh My Darling Clementine, um, because it's got that in there, in the ingredients, and this is the one with, it's got the big granules of sugar, and this is a really good exfoliator. I love this one, and this one to me smells like an oatmeal cookie, and it's got oatmeal in it too. Now this is one of the ones that um, will lather a little bit for you, and it's, oh, I love this one. I love it. I hate having to, I feel like I'm wasting these. I know I'm not because I'm showing you guys, but um, with a little more water, and if you're in the bathtub, this one will cream up for you. And I don't want to say lather, but it will cream up. And this one is really soft. It's got, um, let's see, it's got, what are the ingredients? It's got rice bran oil and sunflower oil and cocoa butter and shea butter. It's just, it's really, really soft. This one is really moisturizing and I love the way my skin feels after I use this one. And it is very, very exfoliating. So this is just kind of, you get everything with this one. So I absolutely love, love this one. And if I'm using any kind of, if I'm taking like a sweet kind of a bath, then I will definitely grab this one. Like, not a, not a citrusy bath or anything like that. But if it's definitely on the sweet side, I will grab this one because it goes really well with that. Ooh, this leg is gonna get really exfoliated today. Okay, next up we have the Witch Baby Heartbreak Hotel. Okay, this one is more fine than the cashmere. This one is 
This one feels like sand. It feels like sand and it's got all that shimmer in it. it this is divine. This one is just absolutely divine. And it just looks, it looks totally different than any of the other on my skin. And it seems like it might be a little bit like the cashmere, but you can see it's more moisturizing. And I'm not sure, I don't, I don't know if it says the ingredients on the container. I'm sure it does. Um, shea butter, coconut oil, grapeseed oil. This one is so, so moisturizing. None of this is really falling off of my skin here. And so that's really nice because when you're scrubbing, you kind of want to don't lose, don't want to lose any of that product. So this one, oh, it's just, oh, it's just, I love it. So I really, really want to order another one of these before, um, before they get gone off the site because this is just one of those that I really, really want to keep around. So when I got out of this bath, when I use this bath bomb and I use this, I did not need a lotion or a body butter. It is that moisturizing. It's, it's awesome. I absolutely love this. Moving on. Of course, you have to love bubble gum to like this one, but I'm sure that all the scrubs in that line and the different scents are exactly the same. Oh, and um, it was very, very shimmery afterwards. So that stuck to me too. Okay, yeah, this is the first one where I feel like I have oil beaded up on me. I don't know. You, you can't, I'm sure you can't see that. You don't want to see that close up of my leg, but it definitely has oil. Um, it feels like it's got some kind of lotion on it and it has a shimmer. It's a teeny, teeny, tiny shimmer. Okay, so Candy Panda is next. Now, this is not my favorite. The shaving soap is not my favorite, but when I mix these two together, I like them better. And a lot of those scents kind of go together. So um, this one, it's like I said, it feels kind of like moon sand. So it definitely, um, the product won't fall off, but it creams up, it kind of soaks up. So what I have to say about the shaving soap and the, um, the sugar scrub is that I don't think you need this, um, the whipped shaving soap because you can shave with this, um, especially if you mix them together. I don't know this. I don't know. I, I think the jury's still out on those products, but I'm still going to order from them because they do have so many scents. I'm still kind of trying um, to figure out if I like them. It's just not. They're just not my favorites. I don't know why. And they're beautiful, and everybody loves them so much. I just I can't put my finger on why I'm not in love with them. The wax is awesome though too. I don't know. I'm just, I didn't open them and fall in love with them like I have some of these other ones. Okay. I think all the hype around it kind of kind of gets you too. You think everybody wants it and you have to have it too. And there's nothing wrong with that. You know, that's kind of fun. Okay. My leg's feeling a little raw here, but um, okay. Now, this one is the one that I'm just currently, I just can't get enough of. I love it just more than anything right now. And that, I even put an Instagram picture of this one. And this is the Twisted Allure Unbirthday Massacre. Now, this one is different than all of them. They're all a little bit different. This one is totally whipped and soft. And I don't want to say it's not as exfoliating as the rest of them, but it is different. Um... Uh, it's it's kind of a luxurious. I mean, you can tell. That's why I'm doing this on my leg to show you guys. They're all so, so different. This one, you can definitely shave with, which is awesome because what I just said, if you mix the Candy Panda scrub with the whipped shaving soap, you kind of get this kind of consistency, which is nice because I don't have to mix anything with these, this one, to be able to shave like I do to mix those two products to get this. And um, so you have the exfoliator, you have the shaving cream in one, and the smell, the scent on this is absolutely amazing. It's just amazing. So um, anyway, um, this has just been, so it's probably, I'm sure this has been a half an hour long video, but 
Um, I hope that this has been really informative to you guys. See, look how much this is kind of soaping up and creaming up a little bit. It's, um, it's just like the perfect exfoliator shaving cream. And um, then if you want to follow this up with a body butter in the same scent, um, and she's got several of those matching scents with the scrubs and the butters. <sighs> it's just amazing. I love it. Okay, so that's it. That's the last one. I'm going to leave y'all um, with a picture of my scrubby soapy leg. And thank you guys for watching so much. Um, let me know what you thought about this video. If you hated it, you never want to see anything else like this again. If you want to see like a, a butter and a lotion kind of thing like this. Or um, just just let me know. Just let me know. Um, or if you've tried any of these, tell me what you think about these um, or which scrubs are your favorite. I just really want to know. So um, anyway, thank you. I will have everything listed down below. Everything. So um, yeah, I'll just see you next time. Thank you guys so much. Love you. Bye-bye.